let's talk a little bit about what could get in the way of us using evocation with our children. So some of the things that might happen are a lot of our behaviors and the ways that we interact with our children. But the big picture of what gets in the way is when we want to tell them, lecture at them, or force them to be whatever it is we want instead of pulling their opinions, thoughts, and ideas. But some of the things that can happen from our behaviors is one, when we want to manipulate. Guilt trips or displacing blame or passive aggressiveness are often forms of manipulation. So for example, displacing blame, you might say, if you don't tell me, I can't help you, right? We're putting the blame back on the child. Or manipulating or a guilt trip might be where we say, I guess I'm gonna have to do it by myself since you won't help me. Or how could I be a good parent if you're not helping me and you're not doing what I tell you to? Another thing that we could be doing that could stop us from invoking is demanding. Demanding, saying things like, you need to tell me what's going on right now. That's not evoking at all. We want to be able to evoke versus demand or control. Another one is forcing and judging. So for example, I heard from your best friend that you're not being social with your friends at all, and that's what's creating problems for you. Sometimes we try to work with our kids and they shut down. They don't want to talk with us, and so we try to force them to talk with us, and all they do is shut down more. This sometimes can create a resentment, and so we start feeling resentful towards our child. This also can get in the way of evoking, because we're feeling resentful, we're feeling angry, and we start trying to force our child to speak to us, demanding it, instead of going to a place of allowing them to talk to us or giving them the space and time before we go in and we start evoking. But resentment and that pressure can get in the way of us evoking. That goes hand in hand with also us feeling pressured and not enough time. Sometimes this can be a barrier. We feel like we have to get answers immediately or we feel like they have to hear us immediately. We have to tell them what to do. They have to take our opinions. When we get stuck in that with feeling this pressure, this rush, we lose sight of taking the time to evoke and pull information from them. So all of these things can get in the way. And this is not an exhaustive list. There's many other things that could get in the way. It's important that when you self-reflect on how it went with your child, and if you could have been more evoking from them, what got in the way? Identify it. Try to see if you can remove it for the next time and see if you can be more evoking and find out more information from them on how they want to do things, their opinions, their thoughts, their solutions. Again, ultimately, evocation creates this safe environment. It helps build the child up. It helps motivate for them to go somewhere in some direction to bring about change or to take action. It creates this great collaboration and engagement with your child.